The subject of this video is entropy. I want you to look up the textbook to chapter 5 and 5.1.2 and read this section. Yeah, you can see entropy is a measure of disorder. The more disorder you have, the higher is the entropy. So for example, an image of constant grayness, just the same grayness throughout, will have low entropy. But an image with lots of features in it will have higher entropy. So read this here, we move on to the next page. Entropy really measures the information content in an image, how much information is there. The information of a single pixel is given by this here. You don't have to worry too much about it, but it's minus log the probability. And if we're using binary system like we are, bits zero and one, then this log is log to the base two. So that's the information content of a single pixel. The information content of the whole picture is its entropy, and it's given by the sum of the information content uh, this here multiplied by the probability, weighted by the probability. So it's this here going from 0 to 255 in the case of an 8-bit image. So we remember it as this here, the sum over all the pixel values. There's a minus sign kicking around there, but the sum of p log p, p log p to the base 2. So to get the entropy for an image, to find the entropy of an image, we would get the histogram its histogram of pixel values, scale that histogram down by dividing by the number of pixels in the image to get probabilities, probabilities, the PDF. We saw that, I think, on page 125, the probability distribution function, the probabilities plotted against 0 to 255. And then look along for each pixel value, multiply the height, which is the probability, multiply the height by the log of the height and do that for all pixel values, add them up and that will give you the entropy. And if I look back, um, one page back, no, sorry, this page here. So we go one page forward. So we look at the probability distribution function that is the scaled down histogram and get the probability and multiply it by the log of itself and then do that for all of these bins and then add them up. Going back here, the maximum entropy you can get for an image, for an 8-bit image, is 8, the number of bits per pixel. So our entropies will run from 0, where there's no disorder at all, constant grayness up to eight where we've got the maximum information. If we look at image J, open image J and open these five images from your folder, uh, images for three, four, five. Two gray bands, four gray bands, eight gray bands, 16 and this one, HISTIQ. And We'll look at plugins chapter five, live histogram first. And we see the histogram of this image here is just two spikes, one at zero and one at mid gray, 127 or 128. The histogram, 256 by 256 pixel image, so the total number of pixels is this here, multiply 256 by 256, and half of that number is this, and that's the height of the histogram. If we divide this number by this number to get the PDF, then we get two spikes 
each at height one half or 0.5. So we've got two spikes in the probability distribution function and their heights are a half. To get the entropy, we take, we look at each of them and we do P log P, where P is a half. So a half log a half for that one, a half log a half for that one. Add the two of them together, you get log a half, log a half to the base two. Log a half is minus log two to the base two. Log two to the base two is one, minus it is minus one, and there's a minus outside of all that. So the entropy of this here, we're expecting to be one. You work through that math a little bit. It's not that difficult, except that logs to the base two, you may not be very familiar with it. But if we go back to this image, oops, back to this image, and look at plugins chapter five. So we have the live histogram, so we can work out by hand what the entropy is, but let image J do it, or let this plugin do it. The entropy is one, one bit per pixel. That's what we work out the math to be. If we look at this, which has four spikes, each of height one quarter, if we do the math for that, but let's not do it. Let's use that plugin, plugin, entropy plugin. We get two. The entropy of this is two. It's more disordered. It's got more information, so the entropy is rising. You can probably guess what the entropy of this one is. Yeah. This is its histogram, eight eight bins, each of height one eighth. If we do chapter five entropy, we get three, three bits per pixel. You see the entropy is going up, but it's going up logarithmically because of that P log P, sum of P log P. So what's the entropy of this one? Now here we've got 16, 16, different pixel values. If we do the math, which we aren't going to do, we're going to look up the entropy instead, and we get, I hope you guessed it, four bits per pixel. Four bits per pixel is the entropy of that. And then we look at this image here, which looks like it's very similar, but it's not. If you look along here, you get a constant value. If you look at the value constant value for each of these bands. And that's why we're getting 16 spikes. But in this image, if we move along a band, the value is changing along the band. So the histogram is rather different. The histogram of this here is 256. All, all possible values appear in here. So all possible values, and the height is, um, the height is, what is the height? The height is probably one over 255. You have to think about it, you have to think about it. But let's not work out the math as we haven't done the last few ones. Let's go into here and let the, let the plugin work out the entropy, and the entropy is eight bits per pixel of this image, the highest that it can have. Uh, and it has that because all the bins are full and their probabilities are all the same. If we open, um, if we open Lena, for example, Lena, 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 and look at the probability here, all the bins are not full, not all of them full, and they're certainly not level. They're not equal. They're not histogram equalized. It's another way of saying that. So if we look at Lena and we find, we look, get this to find the entropy for us, we find the entropy is 7.4, quite high, but not the maximum height.
going back to the book and looking at this page here, which is within that section that I want you to read, uh, an image, an 8-bit image that has an entropy less than 8, for example, Lina, she had an entropy of 7.4, could be coded more efficiently with variable length coding instead of fixed length coding, which is what we've been doing up until now. We've been giving every pixel, coding it with eight bits. But we could use variable length coding, such as Huffman coding, which is a form of lossless coding. That is, we don't lose any information when we do Huffman coding. But Huffman coding will be more efficient and will result in a smaller file. That is, we can get some file compression. Not so much with Lena because her entropy is 7.4 anyway, close to 8. But other images with entropy of 4 or 5, they can be compressed even more using Huffman coding. I want you to look at the example on the next page here, which is not an 8-bit image. We're considering only a 4-bit image. And work through this here and um, also read the PDF file on Huffman coding that appears in module two.